Hello physical science folks. Today we'll be doing your distance and displacement EDOC. Uh, if you have any question on how to draw or do any of this, please talk to your teacher in the classroom or if you're online, email your teacher as soon as you can to be prepared for the quiz on distance and displacement uh, at the end of this week. So with that, let's look at John's path. This is my one example. You will need to do scenario one and two on your own. So John's path, he goes to west, and west is to the left, three south, and then eight to the east. Now if I started over here, I went two, three, and then eight, I would go over. So notice that, and maybe consider starting somewhere closer to the left side, because at the end, I go to the right a lot more. So to drive, just click on your grid right here, double click on it, it'll bring you to the Google Drive. So I grab a line. And earlier I said I want somewhere maybe over here. And now uh, one hint is don't always draw it exactly to the corner because the beginning of the next line will go there. And that is two to the west. And then next John went three to the south. So I click right on the corner and I went one, two, three south. And you notice I stopped a little bit short of the corner. So that way the line, um, um, doesn't overlap and if you click on it, it doesn't touch the other line and drag it by mistake. Okay, and then last John went eight after he picked up his couple partner to go to work. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Okay, and to make it easier to see, I'm going to grab my arrow, click on that, and make the line darker. Let's just say 4x. And that is the path that he took to go to work. So to get the information for the displacement, which is a straight line from the beginning to end, uh, I'm going to grab the arrow one instead, and I'm going to draw a straight line from the beginning to the end. And to, oops, sorry. <laughs> so I can see even for me, you know, uh, things come up weird sometimes. So I click on that and let me make it once again 4x, but maybe to show that it's different, pick a different color. Uh, let's just go with blue, okay? So the blue is our displacement and then the black is our distance. If you want to, make a key for yourself, you're welcome to. So like Mr. Wu might say, uh, let's go with that. And draw a little arrow. Change it to 4x. And the blue and I will label that as displacement. And then the black line will be our distance, but at least now someone know that those blue line represent displacement. Now you don't have to do that, that's just extra, okay? So now we're going to label the start and the end of the trip. So here's our start. You don't have to write the full word start, just an S. And then the end. Don't have to write the full end, just the E would be fine. And you can move it up or down to make it look well. So we know our start, we know our end. And if you want to, you're welcome or encouraged to label more information. So people know that this is what unit. So we know this was two miles, right? And then from that, people roughly can guess that one block is a mile. But just to be absolutely clear, this is three miles. And move that over a little bit. And last but not least, this is eight miles. So now we have a unit label. Okay. So with that, go ahead and click Save and close on the upper left. So right there. Uh, upper right, I'm sorry. And you have your picture. So now I'm just going to show you how to do the calculation. So distance is the total path that you travel. So for the distance, I'm going to use black again because it was a black line. John went two miles. And then he went three miles. And then he went eight miles. Two plus eight is ten, plus three is thirteen miles. There's no direction with distance. For displacement, however, we need to use the Pythagorean theorem, which is a squared plus b squared equals c squared. You should have this in your note already. 
And A squared and B squared just represent the two sides of the triangle that forms the blue line. So the two sides here would be 3 down and 6 to the right, or 3 south and 6 to the east. So we would write infinity, 3 miles, and we square that, okay, plus 6, sorry, miles, and we'll square that. And to do square, you just go right behind here, type a 2, and highlight it, and go up to format, and text, and you do subscript, uh, super, super, superscript, I'm sorry. And same thing here, type a 2, highlight it, format, text, and superscript, okay. And now you see that it's still up there, so we need to bring it back to a normal text by undoing the superscript. And that's equal to our unknown displacement. And in this case, that will be C squared. And you can once again highlight the square. So when I go down to the next line, you see that I still have the little font. I know it's a pain. So undo the superscript. So what's 3 times 3? Three? 3 times 3 is 9. So now it's mile square. Now change that 2 to a square symbol in a little bit. Uh, plus, what's 6 times 6? Six? 6 times 6 is 36 miles square. Equal, once again, C square. So I'm just going to cut and paste that. Copy and paste. And then just, once again, change the text to superscript. So now, what is 9 plus 36? 9 plus 36 is 45. So I have 45 miles square. I'm just going to copy this little square right here so that way it's faster. Oops. Copy. Paste. Is uh, equal to, and I notice my thing is still a little small, C square. Paste. So to get C, which is our displacement, we need to take the square root of both sides, okay? So I grab my calculator and I type in 45 and I hit the square root sign. And it tells me that it is equal to 6.708. So for all class, you only need to keep two or three decimal places. That's good enough. So 6.0. I mean 6.708. Now I notice once again my thing is small font, so I need to undo that superscript thing. It is a pain in the neck sometimes. And when you have a square root of a mile square, you just end up with mile again. And now you know that the displacement is 6.708 mile. Okay. But technically a displacement needs both a number and which is the scalar quantity and its direction. So now we have to add that on our own. So we know that this blue arrow is going south and to the east. So the answer for the displacement is 6.708 mile southeast. And that is equal to our displacement. 